Hey there, welcome to VTTV. I'm Tim Avery. Take a minute and read the Word of God with me today. I'm in Acts chapter 1, verse 12. A new apostle is chosen. The disciples left the Mount of Olives and returned to Jerusalem, which was less than a mile away. Arriving there, they went into a large second floor room to pray. Those present were Peter, Jacob, John, Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, Matthew, Jacob, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, the zealot, Judas, the son of Jacob, and a number of women, including Mary, Jesus' mother. His brothers were there as well. All of them were united in prayer, gripped with one passion, interceding night and day. During this time, Peter stood up among the 120 believers who were gathered and said, Fellow believers, the scripture David prophesied about the Holy Spirit concerning Judas had to be fulfilled. Judas betrayed our Lord Jesus and led the mob to the garden to arrest him. He was one of us, and he was chosen to be an apostle, just as we were. He earned the wages of sin, for he fell head first, and his belly was split open, spilling his intestines on the ground. Everyone in Jerusalem knows what happened to him. That's why the field where he died is called in Aramaic, Haquil Dama, that is, the bloody field, for it is written in Psalms, let his house be deserted and become a wasteland. No one will live there. And also, let another take his ministry. So then, we must choose his replacement from among those who have been with us from the very beginning, from John's baptism until Jesus' ascension. And like us, he must be a witness of his resurrection. They proposed two candidates, Joseph, who is also called Barsabbas the Just, and Matthias. They all prayed, Lord Yahweh, you know the heart of every man. Please give us clear revelation to know which of these two men you have chosen to be an apostle and take Judas's place because he renounced his apostleship to go where he belonged. They cast lots and determined that Matthias was the Lord's choice, so he was added to the eleven apostles.